Hi, I'm morning everyone. So I'm just going to give you an overview of the use of CAT and ethyl formate as a fumigant as a post-harvest treatment to control um, phytosanitary insect pests on stone and palm fruit. So as Hugh said, um, with an increase of export volumes in the last couple of years, phytosanitary control has become key, especially for quarantine pests such as grain change bug, um, as this influences market access and market expansion. So the two post-harvest mitigation treatments that we investigated consisted of heat treatments with the use of cats and then fumigation where we used ethyl formate. So for CATS, CATS is a controlled atmosphere temperature treatment system where you apply heat um, and you control the atmosphere by lowering the oxygen and increasing the CO2 to uh, control the insect pests. For trials conducted during 2015 and 2017, we saw that the grain chinch bug was the most toler tolerant of the pests um, for, the, for the heat treatment. It required higher temperatures, holding temperatures, and faster ramping rates to reach their thermal limits, which was not optimal for fruit quality. We had issues such as cavitation, pit burn, and external heat damage. So this is not really a, a viable treatment to control grain change bugs specifically. Uh, if we look at the insect physiology, it explains why they are so thermal tolerant while they are in estivation. They undergo compositional changes. So here I've just highlighted soluble proteins. So from lane one to nine, um, if you focus on 80 to 85 KDA, you'll see that those bands um, darken and increase in thickness as they move into estivation. So bands 8 and 9 are mid-estivation, so that's roughly in March. Um, and we analyzed those bands and you could see that there was an increase in different types of heat shock proteins compared to the rest of the estivation period. So that is why they are able to be so thermal tolerant, is they've changed their composition to, to counteract any thermal um, treatment that you give it, be it cold or heat. So that is why ethyl formate fumigation is the key to control grain change bugs specifically. As Shelley said, it's a grass product, so it has insecticidal and fungicidal properties that seem to be very effective uh, for the grain change bug. In trials that we've done during 2015 and 2017, we were able to control it 100% without causing phytotoxicity or any physiological damage or effect to the fruit. We also had an informal tasting panel that couldn't distinguish between treated and untreated fruit, so there was no sensory deviation because of the treatment, because as Shelley said, it, it has a, a flavoring component. So in conclusion, when looking at controlling uh, grain change work specifically, the CATS treatment wasn't successful um, in controlling it and maintaining fruit quality, and this is due to the compositional changes that the insect undergoes during estivation. And that is the period when we export most of our fruit. So for ethyl formate, it was very successful. We were able to control change bug without any negative effect in fruit quality on various cultivars. Uh, the informal tasting panels couldn't distinguish any off taste or sensory defects. So in conclusion, ethyl formate has the potential to control other external pests as well. Uh, further research is just needed in that regard. Thank you.